हेलो गाइस होप यू आर लाइक गुड वेलकम टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन एनिमेशंस इन फ्लेक्सिम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट क्रिएटिंग एनिमेशन इट इज अ बेसिक वीडियो सो दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन एनिमेशंस वेयर वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट डिफरेंट वेरिएबल्स एंड पैरामीटर्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड फॉर एनिमेशंस एंड रिलेटेड स्टफ्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग माय टाइम लेट्स बिगिन डूइंग एनिमेशंस so we'll just take a overview of what we are going to do in today's animation video so what we have is we are having two gates here we are having two police officers here and we are having a locker here okay so the we are having a operator at this end which is the next entry gate way so the operator is having a tool box and a briefcase in his shoulders so he has packed it into and he is going to come away to the locker he is going to put in the code rights the staffs and he is then going to push the locker take something out and then he is going to put it on the machine so this is the whole overview of the animations we need to bring in play uh so what we are going to do is i am just going to uh, show you by running it so that you could have what we have told now so you could have that viewed So the operator comes to the locker, enters the code, writes the note, and then pushes the locker and takes the stuff out. And then he'll come to the machine area, he'll drop it, and he'll go again back to the starting area. And again he will come back. So this is a looping uh, animation video we have made. Now we'll start about understanding animations here. So you saw how it is working. Now what we'll do? We'll just reset the model and we'll go to our operator. And we'll check how the animations are. So go in the edit, go into the animations, and you will have this window here with all the views. So these are three views on the top, and this is your isometric view, 3D view, uh, where you can weave the uh, animations or stuffs done. So what I've done, I've done two animations. One is uh, my operator one is so that is renamed to this basically so we can click on add new animations and type a name here and then we can add the stuff here so what i've done i'll just show you so i i just need to drag this on the keyframe and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in this bone animations the moment i go in the bone animation there are four options add edit animate and reset bone so i'll go to add animation clip and then you need to click on this uh, item here and then when you see on the right a uh, top corner animation clip from here you can select the type of the animation you require caesar so there are maxima there are a lot of different stand from laying then you have closing then you have shaking hands and lot of stuffs so you can select what animation clip you require so i'm just going to delete this we don't require this as of we have already what we have so this is uh, the to reset the timeline and this is to play what you have made the animations you can just check out the animations which you have made are working correctly now if you could look at the in between the person is raising the hands up and down so hopefully this can be sorted out by mixing two animations into one another so if you could look at here the person takes the hand out like this but if you mix this this way it becomes very seamless so this is some of the options you can drag the key chain to the particular second you require so these are the timeline in seconds and you can drag this as per your requirement then here we are having three keyframe options currently in this video we'll just learn about the bone animations uh also bone animation b6 that is only an animation clip so next video we might look at animate bones directly but this we will look only adding clips so you have seen this we have added this animation clips here then what i did is i went to walk because i wanted to show that the person will be walking along with this briefcase or something like that so i have added the component from here so if you plus this you will have this object coming in i'll just delete this as well So similarly, I have bring brought this object inside, or shaped it. So if you could click on this, you have shaping options. And then what I've done is I've went it into the component properties here, uh, uh, below where you could look at parent to bone. Because now what I need to do is 
I'll just reset and show you what happens is this box basically runs with the operator. See, if you could look at it is moving along with his arm or the uh, elbow. So this is what it is. So to fix this op uh, object or to pivot this object onto some of the bone, what you need to do is you need to bring this dropper and you need to click on the joint you want to. So if you look at this, I have selected this to the right forearm. So this object is pivoted to the right forearm. So as per the moment of the right forearm, this object will also move. Then you need to position this object and bring it near to the arm and this will be done. So this is how we do the animations for uh, basically we are going to pivot it or you can say parenting it to bone in animations so we have brief, uh, briefcase is parented to the bone and we have made another uh, animation for our operator where we have added animation clips such as writing a code then we have a sitting and writing and then we have a pushing that is opening the locker and taking something out of the locker so this is all about the animations for this operator we have made uh, into this current video and if you could look at this uh, we have added a police officers here these are the static entities this is a local available here and a navigation used for routing that operator so if you could look at this operator will be working as per our animation so if you want to look at the process flow what I have told him so this is what the process flow short process flow which is made which is telling to travel to the locker uh, then to run the animations, wait till the animation is run and then travel it uh, to the machine area. So this is all about it. So in the run animation, if you come in the process flow, here you need to put the object of which the animation needs to be played and you need to enter the name of the animation. So if you could look at, we had named this as my operator one. So that's what I have put it here. So this is all about how it looks like creating animations there are a lot of interesting stuff and animations we'll explore this in further coming videos uh, but you need to stay tuned with be aware if you haven't liked and subscribe to our channel please do it do watch our videos till end it really motivates us to bring such interesting educational videos for you related to process simulation and flagging so we'll meet in another interesting video till then take care bye bye